Hey guys, it's Allie with Allie Answers. I hope that you're having a fantastic day. If this is your first time watching one of my videos, then welcome. And if you're a returning watcher or subscriber, thank you and thank you for subscribing. The more that we have interaction, whether it's commenting below or liking these videos or sharing, the more people will see this information and the more good we can do. If you've watched some of my previous videos about finding a senior living, then you already know that one of my big tips of looking for senior living is to make an appointment first. And you already know then that the reason I say that is to honor your time and to make sure that you get your questions answered. If you have any questions about that, you can actually check down below. I will link some videos. If you want to look under playlists, you'll find Senior Living as a playlist, and there are lots of videos just specifically about that topic. I'd like to talk today about the importance of meeting with the executive director or the owner of the community. If you are looking at a larger community, you are not going to be meeting the owner. You most likely are going to be meeting with the management team and they absolutely will have you go through the salesperson first if they have a sales or marketing position. But it is important as you are doing your research to actually sit down and have a conversation with the executive director. And I'm going to tell you why because things go top down. If leadership has a fantastic servant attitude, if they care about their families, then so will the floor staff. The people who are actually laying hands on and helping your loved ones are going to be influenced by the leadership of the executive director or owner. A very small building might have an owner who is actually there and running the community. Otherwise, you'll probably be meeting with the administrator or executive director. It's best to make an appointment if you can. Executive directors are kept very busy and they tend to run around very quickly and they can't always sit down at a moment's notice. That's no personal indication that they don't care about you at all. It just is that they have such a heavy schedule and so many things that they are keeping balanced. So make an appointment with the owner or executive director and sit down and talk to them about what their goals are for the building. An executive director is probably going to ask you about your loved one and get some basic information from you and how you see things and what your goals are. But I also want you to be the one asking questions. Ideally, you are going to turn those questions around and say, based on what you know about my loved one, tell me how you think that you can reach our goals. Tell me what your goals are for this building. What are your long-term plans for staffing? What do you see as an advantage for this building compared to others? Why do you think that your team is superior? And give me some examples. It's fair to say that a good executive director is a great manager and they may not always be the best salesperson, but that's okay. You can see into their heart when you're talking to them and you can get a feel of if this is a person that you want to be in charge of taking care of your loved one. I also think it's a great idea to meet with the director of nursing or director of wellness, but that's going to probably happen anyway because your loved one will need an assessment, but you'll be looking for the same things. What are your goals? What do you think is important? If your loved one has lived somewhere else and you've had issues or problems or miscommunications, be honest about what your expectations are. The only way that the community can meet your expectations is if you're honest about them from the beginning. And if they feel like it's unreasonable, they need to let you know at that time. For example, Let's say that you would like to be contacted if your loved one has a fever or any other symptoms of illness. That's a reasonable request. And so talking about how that communication would go, what you would expect, whether you would prefer that communication to be via email or via text or a phone call, that's important conversation to have and to see if you guys are on the same page and see the world in a pretty much similar fashion when it comes to care. I believe that it's an important part of choosing a new home for your loved one, especially if you've not had a great experience at your previous location. I wish you all the very best in your caregiving journey, and I appreciate you watching. Take care and have a great day. Bye-bye.